the guys take you seriously? Well, At first, was it hard because you're, not many women, like you said, not many women were into that. Right, right. Um, you have to earn the respect of guys because, you know, a lot of guys, I'm sure they look at, especially new girls on the scene, and they don't know, you know, what they're all about. They don't know if they're serious. And um, I, for one, you know, I, I respect this business fully from, from day one. I never, you know, I always took it serious what I did, and I worked so hard, and the guys would see that. They saw me kept coming back. They saw me. I would get in the ring before shows and train with the guys just to, you know, just to prove myself because I wanted to earn my spot in this profession. I didn't want to take the easy way, and I wanted to res um, earn the respect of the boys, of the promoters, and, and just basically everyone that I had to work with. And I did that. I made a name for myself in this business. I believe I, I did things the right way as far as breaking in the business and, and just sticking with it and, and proving how much I wanted it. And it took me about six years from when I started on the Indies to when I made it to TNA. And to some people, like six years might not seem like a long time, but they were the longest six years of my life because it's just when you're when you're on the indies and you're a new wrestler and no one knows who you are I remember driving from from Connecticut to pass Baltimore by myself in my little beat up car with no radio because someone broke in my car stole my radio this is how serious I was I would drive I believe it was God, it had to be six and a half hours by myself you know one o'clock in the morning coming back because I wanted it and at that time when you're first starting out in the business, you, you're not making any money. And I didn't care about the money at first. I just, all I cared about was making a name for myself in this business, having people remember me. Um, and I feel like all my hard work paid off um, in 2007 when Terry Taylor called me and um, made me aware that they were going to be starting a knockouts division and he asked me to be one of the potential knockouts to come in and have a tryout match at Bound for Glory 2007. That's where I, I made my debut and Terry Taylor called me and told me they wanted to use me. I, I hung up the phone and I cried my eyes out. Tears of joy, of course, because all I did in that moment was reflect. I reflected back. I wish cameras could have been with me on my journey on in the Indies. I mean, I know a lot people had a lot had it a lot worse than me coming up on the Indies, but I mean, I really busted my butt, you know, I mean, every job that I had back home, I mean, I waitressed, I did, you know, whatever it is I had to do to keep the money coming in so that I was able to fund my gas and my wrestling gear and, you know, food on the road, hotels here and there. Um, it, it wasn't an easy journey at all. Um, the jobs that I, the jobs that I would, um, that I would get on the side. Um, I would tell them up front what I did on the weekends, like, look, I'm really trying to do this. If I ever need days off on the weekends, can you work with me? And, yeah, okay, well, it depends. We'll see if we can get somebody to cover for you. And, you know, it turns out each time when I would need the weekends off um, for my indie shows, I'm oh, sorry, we couldn't find anybody to cover you. But that didn't stop me, though, because I would quit the jobs. I would quit the jobs that wouldn't work with me and let me go and pursue my dream and my passion. And I feel like... I'm happy that I did that, and I must have had 10 to 12 jobs um, that I had to quit in order to pursue my passion, and it got to the point where um, I couldn't hold down a job because of I kept because I kept leaving because they wouldn't let me off. So what I had to do was um, I moved back in with my parents, and my mom she she knew my both my parents they're great they knew how bad I wanted it. My mom and dad were like, come home, go in your old bedroom, you know chip in where you can around the house and don't just go go for it they were very go supportive were very you. supportive my parents both they never tried to sway me in a different direction you know come on get a real job come on you're you know 23 years old what are you doing they were always just like you know what go for it go for it they let me move back in and I was able to not have to work a real job and just kind of do my indie shows and I feel like that is what really, 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 I feel like, helped me really make it was never giving up and not taking no for an answer when my real jobs would tell me, sorry, you can't have Friday off. Sorry, we need you on Saturday. Sorry, you can't be off for three weeks. If I had, I feel like if I had gave in to that and been like, okay, I'll stay here and I'll waitress and not pursue that, I wouldn't be sitting here today. But, like, I had 
and still have so much passion for this industry, for this business, because I have worked so hard to get to the point that I'm at. And now that I'm here, that doesn't mean I stop working hard because I got my break. You have to work even harder when you make it to TV wrestling because you have to stay. You have to, you, you have to basically prove to them, you know, why you're in the position that they put you in. You have to go out there and give it your all. You have to just show up and be ready to go. You can never, ever, ever take your spot or your job for granted. And I don't. I'm grateful and I'm thankful every single day that I'm here. Like sometimes I'm just walking by myself around, you know, the impact zone. I look around and I'm just like, wow, I can't believe that I'm, I'm here. Even after six years, I'm like, I'm just still like, wow, I'm here. Like, I'm here. I can't even believe it. And I'm just like, every day I'm so grateful and thankful because it wasn't easy. It was not an easy ride to get where I am, but it was all worth it in the end because here I am now.